Good day, poker peeps. What has two thumbs and loves teaching poker strategy? Uh, this guy. My name is Sky with Smart Poker Study, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Poker Tracker 4 to simulate an in game experience that allows you to practice the same strategy over and over and over again. Let's get to it. All right, so on the screen is Poker Tracker 4. Now, let's imagine you want to improve your three betting skills. You just watched a video, uh, listened to a podcast, read a chapter on three betting. You took tons of notes, learned some new strategies, learned, on, uh, learned about different things that you should be looking for before you make your three bets, right? Now, of course, experimenting with this on the felt, pulling the trigger on making three bets, that's going to be the number one way that you actually improve these skills that you learn three betting strategies. But we have to couple our on the felt work with our off the felt work too. And what I'm about to show you is a great way to force yourself to analyze situations when it comes to three betting, that's the situation we're going to do today. Um, but analyzing situation and kind of simulating a real in-game experience that forces you over and over again in every single hand to really think about your three betting strategies. So what you're going to do first um, is pull up under more filters. We want to look for three betting opportunities. We don't want to just look at instances where you made the three bet. We want to see all the spots where you had the opportunity to. So raise opportunity to three bet run that filter so out of the about 5800 hands we have 1900 hands to look through right so we're not going to look through all of them trust me but there are 1900 hands where i have the opportunity to three bet sometimes i make the three bet as you can see right here other times 10 do suited i just make a fold but what you're going to do is you're going to open up uh, 10 hands in sequence by position to simulate real world. Now, sh I'll show you what that is in just a sec. So, if you're following along at home, open up Poker Tracker 4, do this exact same work right now. Find a hand in the MP, maybe one that you did three bet, or one that could be one that, oh, I could have three bet here just looking at the hand strength, not knowing the opponents. So, let's open up the pocket queens first. Go back to Poker Tracker 4, go to the cutoff, and find a hand that uh, maybe you did 3-bet or that's possible for 3-betting. Go to the button. Uh, oh, pocket jacks, I did make the 3-bet. Small blind here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, ace jack, I just called instead of 3-betting. Nice. Go to the big blind. So you can see we are going in order here from MP and then up. I'm normally a 6-max player, so I'm going to skip the EP. Let's go back to the MP and find another hand. What was the other one? Oh, the King Jack might be an interesting one. The cutoff, just scroll on down, find any hand that, oh, sometimes ace five offsuit, ace blocker. On the button here, let's go, oh, ace queen. That's a good hand to three bet. Small blind, let's find a totally possible bluffing situation. Seven, six suited out of the small blind. And let's go to the big blind. Let's find what is another total bluff. Well, ace 10, depending on the opponent, might not be a bluff, but let's go with the jack nine suited as well. Cool beans. So let's move this over so we don't have to look at it. You can see right here, just imagine you just sat at the table, right? You're trying to simulate an in-game experience. You just sat down, you're in the big blind very first hand, and then look what happens. Oh, somebody open raises. Great. We have the opportunity to three bet now. You just spent some time off the felt, like I said before, watching a video, listening to a podcast, reading a chapter out of a book or something. You have all these strategies. So now it's time, like it, just as if it was in-game, practice those strategies. What are you looking for? Well, we don't know anything about this player. He is open raising from out of position. We're in the big blind right now. We could three bet, and of course three betting is a total bluff right now, but we don't know anything about this opponent. He made more than a min raise. I think folding is just fine, and Jack Knight doesn't have any blockers to good open raising hands. Um, yeah, we block him having pocket jacks and pocket nines, or ace jack, but that's about it, right? An ace jack or, or an ace blocker would be so much better. He has less aces, ace king, ace queen, ace jack in his own range. So it's not a good spot to three bet bluff, Although calling is not too bad, what do I actually do? Ah, I fold, which is totally fine play as well, right? If three betting isn't all that good and you're not jazzed about your jack nine suited, folding is just fine. So let's minimize this hand. Oh, look, the very next hand. We're dealt in the small blind a three betting opportunity. Open raise, couple of folds, great. Once again, because you're in the small blind with a three betting opportunity, it's the very next position after the big blind. We can run through all of our strategies. Maybe we have our notes out in front of us. We're taking a look at the good hands to three bet bluff, the good opponents to three bet bluff. Oh, he's a tight, aggressive 
a player, almost loose aggressive. He folds 64% of the time. What is his open raise in the, he's currently in the MP. What is it in the MP? Open up your pop-up. Oh, raise first in the MP is whatever percentage that ends up being. What is he three bet? Or what does he fold to three bets in the MP? Well, his raise in the fold in the MP is whatever percentage that ends up being as well, right? Take a look at all this information. Like the whole goal here is to force yourself to analyze the situation just as if it were in game. Oh, is this a good spot to three bet? Is it not? Whatever it is, that's the play I make. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe this was the perfect spot to three bet and I screwed up right now. That's up to you in, in the moment to decide. The very next hand, hey, we're on the on the button. Open raise. Oh, great. We got another chance to three bet. Now I get to practice my three bet analyzing skills once again. Tight aggressive player in the, uh, he's open raising from the MP. Let's see what his range is. Oh, raising the MP is whatever percentage it might end up being. He folds 75% of the time. We do have a very strong hand, but I wouldn't mind just taking this pot down right now. If I make it 10 big blinds, they're all likely to fold right here. What do we do? 10? Hey, they all fold. Sweet. We picked up the pot. Love that three bet. Now, in the cutoff, the very next hand, right? So you're just constantly going through, you're forcing yourself to analyze each three betting spot over and over again. As you can see, we pulled up 10 different hands, right? But you can pull up 15, 20, 50 different hands and spend a full hour going through three bet spot after three bet spot. You're gonna be training yourself to utilize the skills that you learned from that video or the podcast that you listen to over and over again. Once you finish analyzing this hand, Go down, hey, look it, we're in the MP now. Uh, minimize, oh, we're back in the big blind again, facing another open raise from somebody. What are we going to do? In the small blind once again, uh, on the button, in the cutoff, in the MP, and then that was the final hand. You've just now completed your study session. Now it's time to hit the felt and practice in-game all the stuff that you just spent this simulated practice doing. All right, thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, the most important thing is that you actually take action and do this for yourself. You can do it for sea betting opportunities, um, uh, donk betting, check raising opportunity, whatever. Just filter for an opportunity and figure out a way to simulate that real world situation so you get practice over and over and over again. Two thumbs up and I'll see you on the felt.